the habit of talking to myself. Yeah, that's the only way I can get an intelligent conversation around here. Can you play croquet? Yes. Come on, then! <laughs> nice day. Very. Where's the Duchess? Oh, hush, hush. She's due to be executed. <laughs> Nobody does if they think they can get away with it. That's a lesson you'll have to learn. Well, I should have croqueted the queen's hedgehog, but my hedgehog wouldn't roll into a ball. Oh, you've got to look at it from the hedgehog's point of view. Yes, I suppose I should have. How do you like the queen? I don't. She's so extremely... likely to win that it's hardly worth finishing the game. talking to? A friend of mine. Cheshire Cat, this is the king. Oh, I don't like this at all. But as you're in the presence, you may kiss my hand. I'd rather not. What? That's rank insubordination. And you know what that leads to. And don't look at me like that. A cat may look at a king. What does that mean? I read it in a book somewhere. I haven't, but it sounds immoral. It has undertones. That book should be banned. I like the sound of that. Ah, my dear. How do we get rid of a floating cat? Off with its head. Brilliant. I knew I could rely on you, my dear. I'll just go and fetch the executioner. Do you know where my hedgehog went? He rolled away over there. <laughs> Now 
stop it. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. That's necessary. Give it to the back of the neck. It's difficult. But I must have a ruling. I appeal to you, little girl. You have got a head on your shoulders. No thanks to you. I can't hear what you say. One at a time, please. I'm sorry about my altitude. It smacks of revolution. You're above us. My argument is simple and based on irrefutable logic. I'm chief executioner, but I can't cut off an head unless there's a body to cut it from. You see a cat hanging up there, large as life and twice as repulsive, has no body. Ipso facto, I cannot separate it from its head. My argument is, I venture to say, overwhelming. Anything that has a head can be beheaded. And don't forget, I'm also a justice of the peace. There's too much talk and not enough action. And if something doesn't happen in a minute, I'm going to have everybody executed. You choose, little girl. To behead or not to behead, that is the question. What's the... Girl. You have to tread with care when dealing with cats. They have influence and are seen in all the smart places. You remember the Great Cat Massacre? Oh, yes. I was forgetting. Catastrophe. I'd think carefully before acting rashly. Show the advice, little girl. <laughs> and another thing. The cat belongs to the Duchess. She's in prison. Fetch her! I remember the Great Cat Massacre of 28. Hmm. Nasty business. Yes, it was just after the Great Flamingo Plague of 26, wasn't it? Think carefully before answering this question. Is this your cat? <sighs> no. No. It isn't. I was told. Ah, it's gone. It's your fault. It was in your custody. It wasn't official, so it's nothing to do with me, mate. I'm in the clear. Help me find it. Everybody help. Quick, quick, quick! Oh, you can't think how glad I am to see you again, you old thing. Thank you. You look worried, my dear. I don't want to go back and sing that song. The show must go on. Why? Life would be very dull if it didn't. Oh, with your head! The game's going better now. And the moral of that is, the more there is of mine, the less there is of yours. <laughs> or you could say, fortune favours the brave. I could, but I will. Fortune favours the brave. Oh, that's a good moral. You are a clever old thing, you. <laughs> Fine day, Your Majesty. I gave you fair warning. Either you or your head must be 